Yo guys, what's up and welcome to a new video from me in which I'm or in which I challenged Morton to a best of five. I have no, this is just a lucky video. We don't have to discuss about that Morton. It's a little bit better than we are, but I just try to give my best. I hope I'm winning at least two out of these five games. And now we are in the first game. If you don't want to miss any kind of videos, just make sure subscribing to Morton's channel, also subscribing to my channel is highly appreciated. But to be fair, I think most of you guys did already or do already, um, yeah, subscribe to Morton. But in case you didn't, just make sure to doing it. I hope I've also just remembered, um, yeah, dropping all of the links in the comments below. Now I'm getting down with a poison. It looks like as I have matchup against him specific with my poison, it's going to be pretty, pretty great for me. And I'm now just using the ability. He, I'm for, I, he's forced logging that, but still, yes, I'm taking a lot of damage, which feels great. Barbarian Barrel comes in. I have the hope, just playing a good tornado, activating King, King Tower of the Miner. And here we go, guys. Just being in a 1000 damage lead against Morton feels great. Miner comes in. Great Miner. Miner is at full HP. Defended, or I managed defending the the goblins at the bridge flawlessly also having a king tower activated so in my opinion the start couldn't been better i've i'm also ready for playing a tombstone tombstone is perfectly because now the opponent oh never mind i have to play a little bit differently uh barber is also just getting down i have to use a nato for killing the cracker but Oh shit guys, he has the, yes, I need the scale man. He could totally come back, well played by him, didn't expect it that he's able doing that. Ice Wiz is getting down. And I've just hope one Ice Wiz, uh, one, one Wally is connecting. Okay, okay, okay guys, I was a little bit lucky, but also on the other side a little bit unlucky. It always, yeah, depends on which one you're asking. Phoenix comes down, unfortunately, otherwise I'm not able killing an evolved cracker. I don't get it as well, guys. But here we go with a tombstone, here we go with a with poison. Killing bats, killing everything, yes. Yeah, which is, or which or which she could use for defending my, my, my graveyard. Next tombstone comes down as well. Playing the next tombstone behind the tower, I guess, is a, is a good play. Ice Wiz comes down as well, taking care. Ah, oh, never mind. Next Phoenix comes down. Here we guys can see a barbarian bell. By the way, guys, it's just so hard for me talking in English while playing or while trying to play my, my best. But I hope you yes, and I'm also reading a lot of from your comments, guys. And yes, you're totally right. You're not watching me for my perfect English. I'm not a native speaker, but you're watching me for my for my perfect or nearly perfect play gameplay with this deck. It's a little bit uh, yeah different, but overall. You're not watching for my English or getting some English lessons. The Baron Baru comes in. Still getting too much damage, unfortunately. I'm forced getting down with a skeleton king right here. Using ability. Hopefully he's forced sending the mighty miner opposite lane. Yeah, he is. Okay, Ice Wars comes down. The Baron Baru still comes in. And I'm interested in winning this game. Now using just graveyard poison comes in. But to be fair, I think I had more a slightly matchup. There was just a too much skill cap between both of us. Anyways, let's just give Morton the good game. I think the start was played kind of perfectly by my side. But at the end of the day, Morton is just the better player. As now being in the second game, I'll try avoid losing against Firecracker in my opinion. In my, in my opinion, Morton is someone who just loves to abuse the Evolve Firecracker. And you can't see it yet, but that's why I'm playing with Fireball Arrows. Try to prevent his, yeah, try to prevent his Firecracker. And it was a good prediction by myself. Let's just go, guys. Mighty Miner comes opposite. I mean, the Barbarians coming opposite lane. He's, uh, yeah, able, able defending my Barbarians kind of way. But to be fair, now I just try 
activating the king tower that's why i'm just playing as i as i do now it's time for for arrows here we go killing everything also hawk rider is unfortunately dealing one hit but overall what a great deck choice by myself especially with fireball and arrows it couldn't been better for myself but also yes it's not one or i didn't want anything yet so i'm just using minions hopefully he's using ability exactly now he's using his ability playing my barbarians instantly onto the evolved cracker you don't need to ask why i did that i guess and fireball value is here as well fireballing all of the stuff hopefully i'm forcing him to play at least a lock he isn't doing that so that's why he's taking a lot of damage and now i went into a damage lead and yes guys if you're writing me in the comments come on girl you can't just play lava loon you're right I, I i'm a lava one trick but still i need to pre-record some videos then i text it to morton you, you want to do a best of five he said okay come on let's do it and here we go he predicted me which is a big l for my side but luckily i'm not sure how but the skeleton survived also king tower was activated so no loss yet his mighty miners in the back unfortunately he has a free Alex or uh, a free card cycle right now. So I'm not surprised about that to be fair. Inferno Drake comes in. Here we go with Barbarians in case he's using ability. I have my minions. Minions are ready to rumble. Unfortunately, I'm not able playing a fireball onto that. Because I need to play a fireball onto the next Evo Firecracker. So fireball comes down. Here we go. Fireball comes down to the cracker. I'm able getting the tower trade, which feels great, guys. He has no, or he has the cannon, but Inferno Drake connect onto the tower. So it's looking as we are able winning this game. Why not just getting down with Barbarians right here? Barbarians are just killing the Hawk Rider, giving him a good game. Luckily, he just played with cannon. With bomb tower, it would have been something else. But I think, in my opinion, it was a game changer that I kept my arrows for the normal firecracker and i just played fireball onto the evolution firecracker so he didn't manage to abusing his firecracker against me and we are right now 1-1 overall and now being in the game against morton again because it's the best of five but now playing the rimi Eli deck giving him a good luck and let's see how it goes Knight comes down in the back. He's just playing his log, so it could have been everything by him. Let me just see what he's playing. It looks like as he loves abusing today his Mighty Miner. I'm not sure, but I guess it's his third Mighty Miner in three games. So Magic Archer comes down, just trying to make it, uh, yeah, trying to, to get a lot of damage against him. Spear Goblins are coming down as well. Unfortunately, he's taking one hit, but also. He has nothing against me right now. Knight comes in as well. I have to get down with a Miner. Here we go. Miner is a great choice. King Tower is now activated. Warbreakers are coming in. And it's all good, guys. Also, he had no lock in the hand, if I remember correctly. Exactly. He was forced playing Goblins. But to be fair, it was a it was no big deal. Because Goblins yeah, cost the same than uh, Firecracker. I mean, than lock. So, that was not a game changer. Uh, Magic Archer just went down again not sure if riley would have gotten down with the magic archer as well but getting a firecracker hit onto my tower is i think way too much that's why i needed to defend him he's playing his mighty miner and bomb tower comes in knight comes comes in as well royal breaker are coming in and yes guys it was a kind of kind of perfect defense not sure about that but Miner comes down. He's playing not in or he's not playing in NATO. So I think. Oh, he is. Oh shit, guys! Who is playing drill NATO? Come on. Okay, guys, this might been a might been a game changer or yeah, a point where it's uh, or it went to a pretty even game to a kind of unwinnable game. Now he has. Yeah, he has. And just just activate the king tower oh shit guys i have tried killing the firecracker unfortunately i weren't able to do that with my magic archer so i were forced playing even more playing also a nato onto that it's a it's a big issue 
but now just give me some chip damage. I want to get some chip damage. I didn't got a lot of, but getting a some ship damage is better than no ship damage. Now he failed something. I love that, guys. Nade wing also. So the firecracker isn't uh, is dying. Logging the stuff. Everything is just dead, and he's in 400. He's in a 400 damage lead. Okay, 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 guys. Let me cook. Just oh got a got a got a um, connection again. This is unfortunate, guys. I'm logging the stuff, but yes, I'm I'm just dying. Now I'm using the magic archer. Try getting some ship damage. For sure, I know he's just using the ability. Here we go. But let me just play a NATO right here, so I'm able killing the firecracker. And I've, I I were able getting nearly the same damage as he got onto us. It's time for a lock. It's going to be pretty close, guys. My firecracker stays alive. Unfortunately, he just locked again. Miner comes down, spear goblins down, comes down, coming, coming down. How is he supposed defending the spear goblins? I'm getting down with a magic archer right here. Just logging again. This game is just so, so clutch. But I guess I could call this game that I could call it. That's it, guys. He's playing Goblin Barrel, not wisely, in my opinion. Miner comes down, everything just spamming at the bridge. Okay, guys. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit. Logging the stuff. Whoa! Crazy guys! Holy shit! Come on! We are in the lead. 2-1 against Morton. Now guys, it's tie break. Not a tie break, I mean now it's my match point in case I'm winning this game. I won the whole best of five, so let's see if he's winning that or not. Zipping this one, I've decided to go with the last deck, with the Rakan deck. Rakan deck is an incredible good for Morton's deck pool overall. Let's just see what he's playing otherwise, I guess. I'm just waiting, relaxing. Soon I'm playing some arrows onto his tower. And I've just said it already, guys. Make sure not just subscribing to my channel, also make sure subscribing to Morton channels. He's a cool boy, he's an OG. So dropping a like is or dropping a follow is, I think, something which you all could do. Now, I probably have a big, 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 big issue. <laughs> but let me just cook, guys. <laughs> but it looks like, as I just had, a little bit unluck. <sighs> Anyways, Inferno Drake came down, zapping this one. Drake's art also just went down. And he played in perfect lightning unfortunately still want to get down with a miner i hope at least two puppies are or i'm able tanking for at least two puppies so the right tower is getting at one about 1500 maybe 1000 hp but to be fair we don't have to discuss about the fact that he just hard counters me i mean how should i even defend his next e giant even though I have my evolution barbarians, how should I defend that, guys? So Lava Horn comes down. He's getting down with the uh, E giant at the back on the left. So for sure, let me cook, guys. But it's going to be pretty, pretty hard. And Fernando comes down. He's yeah, he's forced using a NATO, I guess. So why not just getting down with barbarians right here? Getting with yeah, getting down with some some arrows right here. Manage defending everything. Now I'm just zapping the Inferno Drake. I'm getting a lot of ship damage in the right lane. It's also time for my next lava hood, I guess. Now having my barbarian evolution, which is much better against his E Giant. So here we go with his with the E Giant against his. Um, let's go with my barbarians against his E Giant. Wow, my barbarians are just, just a game changer in this matchup. Getting down with a balloon at, at the left lane as well. I guess it's time for some arrows right here. 
making the cannon one hit, making all of the other stuff one hit, just zapping the stuff right here. Hopefully Inferno Drake isn't connecting onto my balloon. Here we go guys. Unfortunately, the next thing I have to, or the next giant I have to defend is without having evolved a variance, but no big deal overall guys. Just making enough pressure for, or just playing arrows onto everything. He's playing his next E giant. I am forced getting down with Drakes. Killing E giant, killing Barbarian, Barrel, also killing his um, Golden Knight. And wow, guys, it's going to be clutch. But now my Evolved Barbarians are back. So why not going all in? Barbarians are coming into the pocket. He's answering with a high. And Fair Drake, this is obvious. But I have my Miner right here. Just playing arrows and it's looking as I'm able connecting to the tower, winning one free against Morton. I want to thank Morton. I want to thank all of you guys for watching this video, for supporting all of my content I'm uploading right now on YouTube. And that's also it just again for today's video. Thanks for watching as always. See you next video. Bye guys.